Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Bane at GB Gaming and I am joined by the wonderful, the miraculous Goal. Hi Goal. Hello. How are things? Good. And I, you've got some good news because you went out today um, and you've actually put a video up of this already, but you've actually gone out, grappled us. Uh, I believe it's the command and control module for a station, which has a lot of docking ports on it, which is really good. For yeah, I, I thought it was a reactor module, but you, you've told me different since. Well, it, it has a it has a fusion reactor. It does have a fusion ah, reactor, but there, there you is go. that's what it is. There is like a mining fin as well that you can get, which has a big reactor, I believe. But this this has a fusion reactor, but I don't know where we maintain it from, so that's going to be interesting to find out. But, um, sure, well, it'll probably be external, but uh, uh, we've got our ship docked to the airlock now. Uh, I can see that. There's our ship. But most people have covered that, because we, we covered that in our in our other video, actually, didn't we? We did, we did. Yeah. So should we go and take a look at this, uh, this new module of ours? Let's do it. Let's have a walk. So, through our airlock. So this is, of course, the starter module, uh, where When the door wants start. to open for me. I'm having one of those, those typical things where the door just don't open. <laughs> I just want to let, let me in. There we go. This is our star module. <laughs> there we go. Excuse yeah, the mess. Not a lot going in here. We haven't got a lot of resources here. Um, I think it's but, fair to uh, say we yeah. need to go out hunting for resources, don't we? Because we've got a broken servo motor up there in the air generator. Yeah, we, we've got all sorts of things that have gone wrong. So we're coming into the new module now. First thing you're faced with is this magnificent room. Oh, look at the fusion reactor. That is pretty sweet, pretty swish. I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, I think uh, when I, I've already explored it by the way, guys. Uh, I think there were a couple of nice things in these little boxes uh, when I took around, took a look around it the first time. I think they were warp cells, which was nice. That is uh, good. All of the exits, aside from Doc B that we came in on, where is it there? There it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're currently unoccupied, so they go out into space. Right, okay. See? Uh, so there's not a lot going on there at the moment, but hopefully we'll get more modules and shove them on. What's down uh, this one here? What's this door? Take here? a look. I should take the look. I'm gonna press the button. Let's do Ooh. this. I'll, I'll let you go first. I'm, I'm excited. Do I need a, Do I need my helmet on, or is this? Are we get outside. Is uh, there... I think there's. I think there's oxygen, oh. but no gravity. Okay. So oh, we're using RCS thrusters. I'm going up. I'm going up. And I've seen one of these, I think. This is the ah yeah yeah, it's cause so I went on an outpost, as you know. Um and this is Oh the starter outpost, yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I believe this is the control room. Yeah, because you've got yeah, there. Oh, a gun. Ooh. I've already got Fell. a gun, but that's quite cool. You, 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 you failed to RCS, bro. And then we have a gunnery control which is out of what let me in, let me in, I want a gunnery yeah, control. I'm fairly convinced that they haven't implemented that in game yet, have they? No, but when they do, we can shoot down enemy ships. Woohoo! Hmm. And I found this lovely suit, um, or at least parts of this lovely suit up here as well. We... Oh, that's going to be quite useful for our mining expedition, I think, because this this has got a lot more oxygen. It's called an Evo suit. Now, apparently, all these panels will eventually work as well. It's going to be cool. So, and we can actually see. Oh, is that our ship out there? I can see our ship. That's quite cool. Dock to our station. That's cool. There is a distress beacon. We're not going to activate that because we don't want people to come nicking our stuff. We definitely uh... don't. And then we have our computer mainframe here as well, recharge points for backpacks. And sometimes you find little knickknacks on the floor. What's that there? I think I already Broken did. Broken EM field controller. Nice. Yeah, I decided I didn't want that. It, it didn't look attractive. So, uh, yeah, so that's, that's... That's really it um, for this particular... Particular module. I like the we've got environmental control worn out. That's going to become important when temperature gets added, guys. But yeah, I like it. It's quite cool. I like the way you have to kind of transition as well with your know, grav. I it is nice. I mean, do you my understanding, turn I think the gravity right on? now, mm. um, there is a bit of a bug in the game. Um, I don't want to test it because I think it's a developer tool that they've it accidentally left in. But if you hit J, you can turn gravity on and off like remotely. In yeah, any section yeah, of any yeah. station. And I think people... we can do it to enemy stations as well. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, really, but there you go. It is what it is, though. So it's Dock B that we, we want to go to. I, know, I just wanted to have a look at Dock C as well, see what I can see. Because I can see a lot of stuff. I can see our ship. Hello, ship. Oh, nice. So, yeah. So I'm quite I'm quite excited. So we've got, like, really good possibilities for expansion on this base. So, guys, if you can get one of these modules, then it's fair to say you're, uh, you're set. Of course, if we can get the doors to work. It's just frustrating, these doors. But then you need to... <laughs> Just back away! Back away from the door! 
<laughs> We're gonna have fun all day. I wanna get in. Let me in. I, I may have been trolling a little bit. I know you, you, you were a little bit troll. So that's that's our kind of control module. So I really, I think we need to get another life support module though, so we can have a few more about. Yeah. Uh, well, threat. we definitely want to try and get. Uh, we, we we have, as always, we want to try and get Draconis in. I know uh, Caesar. He's been enjoying this game a little bit and probably also banging his head against a brick wall with this game. Yep. Yeah, um, absolutely. And we were we, so, we were going to... Because we didn't get to film it, but we actually had... Well, I actually had a bit of PvP combat the other day on Heli in the first PvP. Shot a guy in the head. It felt good. He shot at me, to be fair. He missed. I didn't miss. It was good. So... Yeah, that's that's something we're going to try and capture, guys. Is try to get into some of the arenas and have a little bit of combat if we can with our guns. I think you're wielding a nice rail gun there. Oh. Go. Yeah, fail. Yes, fail. I am, and they do they do work now. They do work now. That's good. Are they do. better than the assault rifles? I'm wondering. I have no idea. I've never tried to murder anybody. We're, we're so I'm just to going to. Uh, Are you going to undock the gonna, ship while I'm? I'm, I'm going to. Yeah. Do you come in. I, I do want to come in. I don't really want to die. If I'm being honest. That's a good call. I'm just going to sit down here, actually. You may want me to shut the door here. All right, yep. So are you, uh, are you in and safe? Yep. Okay, going to de-dock now. Okay, we, we're de-docked. De okay. Uh, do you want to shut the outer door and then repressurize, or? Uh, the outer door was already shut. Oh, cool. So we can now move. Where are you? Still in the airlock, struggling with uh, doing anything. You've gone invisible to me, I think. Oh! Yeah, I can't see you. You've, you've got we got the invisible visible man syndrome, so that's always good. Oh, here we go. You stay where you are. I'll log. It, it's probably me that needs to log. I reckon. Oh, it's probably both Sad of us times. to be honest with you. Sad times, everyone. We've got a module, but now Goal has turned into the Invisible Man. That was what's the film? Uh, what's the really scary film with the? Uh, well, not scary, but could it possibly be called the Invisible Man? No, 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 no. The one where they just there you go. I can see you now. Can you see me? No, I see you, Kirk, but can you see me? Star Trek line. So I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll quickly cut from this part. And hopefully you'll catch us again because we're going to go hunt some more modules. So we'll cut to the second part of the video later when we hopefully have found something else worth nicking to add to our station. So see you guys yep, very yep. soon. Hello, ladies and cars. We've done this in two halves, which I said in the first part of the video, where you would have seen us take a tour of the module we'd already acquired. But myself and Go. Hi, Go. Hey, man. Please, please point that gun elsewhere. Thank you. Down Apologies. Point. Uh, have found a module. Now we think we're pretty safe at the moment in space. Hopefully no other ships will turn up. So we're going to go fly over there and have a look. Um, and Gold's going to lead the way because he's armed and he has the better suit. So we're off. And are we going out of the main airlock, yeah? That's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, one thing that I noted while I was doing a little bit of mining earlier is it seems that uh, you use an unholy amount of nitrates to try and repressurize. Yeah, but I think you have to really do that when you're mining. I think that's one of the sacrifices, isn't it? So perhaps we'll, when we're exploring, we'll use this airlock, and when we're, you know, when we're when we're um, when we need to do a tactical assault or a mining run, yep. we'll use the depressurizing cargo bay. Yeah, so. maybe so. I am um, one one thing that we've tried to do in order to mitigate the uh, random usage of all those nitrates is we've taken all the parts out of the life support module in the cargo bay, uh, which means it's going to be permanently depressurized for the time. However, perhaps that's going to be good for us. Indeed, uh, I agree. In, in the respect that it's not going to try and use night. Okay. Okay, I'm venturing go. out. So I believe this is the cargo module we might be looking at. Could be wrong. It certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, but uh, we're definitely going to need to uh, claim this. Oh, absolutely. Well, we want everything that we can possibly de get, really, don't we? We can add it to our command and control module. It'd be quite useful. And then I think we need to find the mining module. This might be the mining module. I think the mining and cargo module are synonymous with each other. Whoa, spinnies! Is that Whoa. is that an airlock attached to it, or? It's not an airlock, it's just a, like a module extension, but that's that's the way in. So do we want to go inside now, or do we just want to tow it? 
Because if we if we go inside now, we're going to depressurize the whole thing. All right then. Well, we'll, we'll go back to the ship. That that was a uh, a waste of a journey. Uh, well, I just wanted to have a look at it from the outside perspective. It is quite a big <laughs> module. I mean, let's have a look at it here. I'm just going to fly around it a little bit. Right, you do that. I'll uh, get back towards the ship. And do you want to do the grappling process or? No, no, no. I, th I think I think we've covered docking and grappling quite a lot in our videos recently. So I think I think I'll let you grapple it. And maybe I'll watch from the outside as you attempt to grapple it, so people can see kind of an external view of grappling. All right, uh, it might go wild though. Uh, I gather that things aren't necessarily synchronized very well in the world view, so you might see a, a, a speediness of doom. Well, if I die horribly, I'll remember you. Say say your word in in prayer. But it seems to have free shoots on it, so this is quite being. Not sure how this works yet, so this could be very, very interesting. I'm really, I'm really interested to see how this module works and, and get to know it a little bit more, whether it's been fully implemented by the devs yet or not. So, but we'll what find a find! Out, we? What a find! We're in a bit of a gold mine today. Yeah, two in a day, my friend. Two in a day. So I think when more players are playing, these are going to become a lot more fought, fought after, really. So you can turn up, so. have a couple of ships here, and then have to fight over them, really. And to the winner goes the spoils, of course. That's all the ship that yep. So, hopefully, Goal has made it back to the ship. Yeah, I'm just repressurizing the uh, the airlock at the moment, so I'll let you know once I'm in. You'll see, you'll see the sh ship start to shimmy and sway. Okay. So, hopefully, I won't run out of oxygen. How long do you believe you have? I have three quarters at the moment, but this is not the EVA suit, unfortunately. So you should see me. I can see you nudging. To the right yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, <clears throat> turn myself, move forward just a uh, nice and slowly, so my ass is in front of that ship, because I think that's the way I want to go. And if I can get my ship pointed in the right direction first, I'm going to come up. So is the grappler at the rear of the ship, or is it underneath? Yeah, the grappler's on the bottom of the ship. Okay, so you're kind of drifting. Yeah, I can see what you're doing. You're kind of <coughs> drifting. Just off. Tell me when my bottom end has cleared. Uh... Well, I will. it's like you're parallel with the uh, station at the right? Uh, I'll be turning, you see, and I'm moving slowly towards it. Yeah, is my bottom? It, yeah, you're above it now. But you need to How far? Uh, a little, not very close to it, in fact, from this angle. But you kind of need to just carry on. Uh, you've just gone inside it in my screen, so. No, no, actually, you're not inside it. It just looks like that from this angle. Let me see if I can get in a better angle. So you have. Pretty much cleared it now, so you're good. To start okay. your turn. There we go. Oh, I can see you're perfect there. That's perfect. Lovely. I can't see it. You should be able to see it. Now you're facing it again. Can you see it? I see it in front of me. And. Da, da, da. But you're not a fan uh, of the grappler. Uh, no, uh, the pointy thing on the outside. Uh, you mean the rear? Like... Yes. No, no. When you're on the docking pod, you, you get a little arrow to tell you which way it's turn. That is permanently wrong. Yes, I never use it. I just look for actual finding it in my camera. But you're now drifting away from the station slightly, so just got to be a little bit more careful. I think if I just turn a little bit more, I should be able to find it. There it is. You got it? Excellent. Just get myself... Uh... Don't take too long, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my best, my friend. You uh, you know this is a slow procedure. I think you staying outside. I well, should be honest with you, but... Uh... I want to show the viewers something cool, but, you know, if I die doing it, that's not going to be good either. 
I would consider that to be something cool myself. What, me dying? That's really harsh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really, very, very maybe, harsh. Maybe, maybe I'll talk with your face. <laughs> I'd just like hold on to the ship while you try and grapple. That'd be funny. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. We'll get you a cowboy hat. How do you know I'm not already wearing one? A Stetson. I might be wearing a Stetson already. You might be. It looks like you've got good, good maneuverability here. It does look like it is actually the rear of the ship that, that grapples, not the bottom. Which is really cool, actually. So now we know that. Yeah, that's definitely the rear of the ship that's the grappler. Yeah, it is. It, it, as I say, it's, it's literally its art. It's ass is grappling. I am going to head back to the airlock, though. Okay, it's going to take well, I, me I'm a I'm just going to thruster towards the airlock. <clears throat> but it looks like you're pretty much dead on with it. Yeah, I think I'm on a good bead now. Really good, really good. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh. Fascinating. And we've grappled. Right, now that the gra Oh, look at that. Animation is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Right, I am heading back to the airlock. As my okay. oxygen is currently saying oxygen low. Which cannot be good for me. No, I can't imagine why I So, do you want to start programming in our route to home base? Uh, I've had a little bit of trouble with the um, with that, uh, as you know. So, I might have to let you. The uh, I'll just close the uh, the uh, this door. I'll start the depressurizing. There you go, depressurizing for you. Lovely, lovely. Would you be able to start the repressurizing when I'm in? Only because I'm perilously low on oxygen. We're at 0 0.6 bar at the moment, and dropping like a stone. Dropping it like it's hot. That was fascinating to watch from the outside and see the grappling hooks actually come out was, was just really nice. It's a really nice touch the devs have done there. Are they actually bothered to do that? That's quite... Yeah, they actually do come out as, grappler, as a grappling hook. Um, but of course you'll see that. If you could open the door for me. Thank you. If you could repressurize, I am in. You in? Yep. And this kind of teamwork, uh, guys, is really important in this game. You know, having someone. The repressurization there. process is happening. What I'm actually going to do while it's repressurizing is I'm going to pop downstairs mm -hmm. with one of the jetpack, and I'm going to refill it with both oxygen and because I think that might be beneficial to you. It might be. We definitely need to find another EVA suit. We do, we do. Uh, might be maybe, one in this module. Maybe there is one in this module. Yeah, exactly. the... I'm just equalizing pressure down in this module down here. I uh, can't seem to open the door. It's very strange on the panel. I'll uh, I'll be back up in a moment. <clears throat> yes, indeed, I seem to be trapped. Always I mean, helpful. I like that. I know Maybe you I like it. The... But you can't do any damage when you're trapped. <laughs> Let me in. Should we like banning on the door? One thing that I would like quite like to see uh, as a feature is um, glass that you could shoot through. Ultimately, I mean, it would really ruin somebody's day if you just like shattered their view their viewport. So I wonder. Try now. Nope. Can you open the door? 
it's uh, it's not fully repressurized. Interesting. We may have uh, nitrogenation issues. We may have airlock issues. Huh. That's a problem. Yes. I seem to be uh, stuck inside this airlock. Gotta be a win. Well, that's okay. Because you could just ride. We, we can take the ride. All right, I'll, I'll take us back. I'll well, based on the theory that uh, that Warpig wants to work for me, you see, everything works perfectly well until you get involved. Apparently, the pressure regulator, the pressure regulation is offline. If I click home station. Uh, ship two hundred seven seven. Sounds about right. We better hope so. Because at least if we get home, I can jump out this airlock and I have enough oxygen, hopefully, to get to our airlock. Indeed. But what we'll do, guys, rather than make you sit through this warping process while I sit in a box recording, I will see you guys on the other side shortly where we'll carry on this recording. So welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we have got back to the station, we've already docked the new module up and so we thought we'd finish the video just kind of checking it out, so should we go do that goal? Yeah, let's go take a peek. So we believe this is the fabled cargo module, because it's quite a big module actually isn't it? It is, it's pretty big. Uh, I, I don't know what kind of use the cargo module has at the moment, but uh, it's nice to have one and be able to look around. Well, apparently the game was supposed to originally have three ships um, when it started, so there was going to be like a fighter ship, a tug, which we've got, um, and then there was going to be a mining kind of vessel. Uh, interesting, this has got an airlock built into it as well, so I'm guessing it's a depressurized uh, environment, so let's repressurize the airlock quickly. Actually, oh no! I might want to actually equip my uh, jetpack. Put it in <laughs> you my can hand. Do that, yeah. Might need that. Interesting. There's an EVA jetpack here. And maybe if we can find the rest of an EVA suit for you, that'll be that would be incredibly useful. helpful since the standard suits are just really not that good. Uh, and you're in. So we're gonna now yep. depressurize. take a look into the module. I will let you have the first look, sir, at our brand new module, since you okay. carefully docked it. Oh, it took a minute or two. Uh, one thing that I found while I was trying to dock it, oh, it's like loads of air escaped, but it clearly didn't. Hmm. Well, here we are. Wow, look at that. Quite a large room. Oh, hey. this is like a landing pad of some kind. So that's pretty cool. It's almost like you can do maintenance. Uh, if, if we take some it back down, is there anything down there? As well, which is interesting. Oh, there are like there are these little grab docks at the bottom of that. Look, maybe it's for an actual cargo pod that they're planning to implement in the future. You can, you can get some kind of tug, bring it in, drop it down, and then it locks into place down there. Possibly, but I thought it was a venting system. But maybe, maybe it's not. Who knows? Let's have a look, what else have we got? We've got... Oh, this looks quite interesting. Oh, it's a panel that drops down as well with a little keyboard. You can't oh, do anything yet, though. this is going to be a mining system, hasn't it? Yeah, well, the, the, this looks... There's a cargo interaction panel there, and this one says it's out of order, so I'm guessing this is some kind of re refinery system for them. The uh, yeah, it's like, it's like the gunnery deck, isn't it? Uh, features not implemented yet. We have a docking control here. I'm not going to pull that, because that would be bad. But it would we, be very bad. But we do have a door control as well. Oh, that spins that to the... Oh, that's opened the door. Oh, there's our ship. Wow. Oh. Hello. So that's, uh, that is pretty, pretty nifty, actually. We can see our ship and also we can fly out to space, out of this way now if we want to. I'm going to have a go at flying. Um, it is Lagfest 2000. So I wouldn't advise coming out here. Uh, I won't. I will stay here, but it looks pretty I'm, good. I'm going to try and get back inside. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how that goes. 
Wait, you look pretty cool. Yay! Oh. And a grab oh, yeah. Let's shut that door. So I'm guessing we have... Yeah, look, we've got cargo A and B. So we have a door on the other side as well. So that's quite handy. Should we have a look out of that door and just see what it looks like? Yeah, let's have a do that. Let's do that. I'm not sure that we'll actually see anything, but... Uh, you know, I'm curious. It does. Well, we can see the star. We can see Hellion itself. So that's pretty cool. So this, this is what excites me about the game, though, is it? This, when you get to bits like this, you're like, yeah, this looks cool. Yeah, and uh, it is improving every day. That, uh, yeah, I, I think the developers would be the first to admit that there are still issues and problems with it. But uh, I think the fact that we've been we, we've been able to do all of this cool stuff in the space of what it's been, it's been kind of a day to, uh, doing all this, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think it's it's you know, th but it's, it's an early alpha. It's encouraging. Yeah. You know, I really want to get some more PvP in, as we said earlier. You know, I think. I think that's going to be uh, really um, sort of fun to do. So I'm thinking of guys. Well, I think as the game gets a little bit less buggy, uh, it'll likely get more competitive. And as it gets more pe competitive, of course, that breeds more players. With more players, getting modules like this is going to get harder because they're going to be contended. Yeah, and I think you're going to have to literally go to gun battles out of your ships, which mm. I'm looking forward to because that brings us to our kind of 0.9 bar. Interesting. Um, However, I, I do hope, I, I must admit, I do hope that they can make a slightly more intuitive nav system. Yeah, I don't mind the nav system. I've kind of got, I've kind of got used to it now. I'm kind of used to I'm, it. I, I, I am used to it, but there are certain bugs that, uh, that continually affect... Uh, it doesn't seem to affect you very much, but it does affect me. Uh, what tends to happen is I will uh, choose a place that I want to go to, uh, say Warp 2, and then the menu doesn't appear. Um, yeah. So what I end up having to do is I have to press the little uh, diamond next to uh, start time. Yeah. Uh, but then the the whole thing doesn't zoom to the correct place. Uh, which means I'm kind of doing it blind and hoping for the best. Bit of, oh, you're getting back in your pod. I, I, I was just going like, to have a nap. Are you sure that's wise? I don't think you can get out of your pod. <laughs> Is that weird? No, you can't get back out of your pod. That may have been a mistake. I'm like now entombed in my pod. Hi. I. I'm also entombed in your pod. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're in my pod. But this is quite funny. This is a good way to end the episode. Uh, <laughs> so we have two stations. We are now strapped in a pod, which is quite cool. And uh, I think we've shown everything we wanted to show today, haven't we? Uh, we've got yeah. we've got a mining video coming out. We've got this video coming out. You've already released a video around grappling modules and adding them to the station. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content and you're going to share more with us. Uh, we shall see you in another episode very, very soon. This is Bane and hopefully Go. Signing out. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>